I'd like to thank Blueland for sponsoring this video. One of the most important tools we have when we sew are our hands. We use them when we cut, when we sew, when we iron. They also need to be supple for hand sewing and finessing some of the more tricky bits and strong to manage the bulk so that we can sew straight. Today's video is all about hand care. How to keep your hands in top shape so that you can do what you need to do. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. Hi there, I'm Karen Brown of Just Get It Done Quilts. I give you tips, tricks, and strategies to help you make the quilt that you want to make. And if you like what you see, please support the channel by clicking that subscribe button. A question that comes up frequently is how do I care for my hands? What products do I use? What exercises do I like? And just generally, how do I prevent my hands from wear and tear? As quilters, our hands are our most valuable asset and it's important that we take care of them so that we can get the best results. Through the years, I have sought the advice of experts and today I'm going to show you my routine that helps keep pain out of my hands. Use a sharp rotary blade. When our blade is dull, we need to put more force on the rotary cutter, which means we clench. A sharp blade will allow you to relax your grip and let the motion flow from your torso. See my video on accurate cutting for more tips. I'll leave a link in the notes below. Use shears instead of scissors. When you use regular scissors, you use an opposing grip, which forces your wrist up and tension through your hand. When you cut with shears, your elbow goes down, your wrist can be straight, and your hand is much more relaxed. Use a thimble. The needles in hand sewing can lead to punctures and sore spots. The smaller the needle, the more likely the puncture. A thimble is used on the third finger of the dominant hand. There are so many shapes and sizes. It will take some experimentation to find the shape and size that works for you. Wearing gloves as much as possible will also protect your hands. And not just outside. If your hands are tender, grab a pair of gloves with sticky palms from the dollar store and just cut off the tips. And moisturize your hands nightly. These brands are too greasy to use during the day, but a heavy duty moisturizer will work while you sleep. There are so many creams and lotions out there and we all have preferences and sensitivities to oils and fragrances. So use which one works for you. Life is hard on our hands. Flappers, blisters, calluses, punctures and hangnails are just a few of the wounds that our hands can have. Working with fabric dries out our hands and aggravates them even more. So it's important to have a routine to care for them. Start with a pumice stone. Make it a daily habit to sand your hands down. And this is how I do mine. When I'm in the shower and my hands have been wet for a few minutes, I take my pumice stone, add a bit of soap, and run it along the palms of my hands and fingers in a slightly circular motion. I run it along the right side of my fingers and then I repeat with the left side. Both times I'm paying particular attention to the sides of my nails where dead skin accumulates. When I get out of the shower, I immediately apply a hand cream before my hands dry. This acts like a barrier to keep the moisture in. And I make sure that that cream gets into the nail bed and under the tops. I also take a moment to push back my cuticles. When skin is completely dry, I clip any dead skin tags. With a new puppy and just day-to-day -day tasks, I need to wash my hands often, not to transfer the dirt to my work. Which leads to today's sponsor, Blueland. With Blueland, all you need to clean your hands or your house is this quarter size tablet, which means you're not paying for single-use plastics or water that's found in traditional liquid soaps. Just watch this. Fill your forever bottle with water. Drop one of the tablets into the water bottle. And after a couple of minutes, you're good to go. There's no shaking, no stirring. The Hand Soap Duo Kit includes two glass bottles and six tablets in three different fragrances. With Blueland, refills are just $2 a tablet. $2 is how much you pay for a takeout coffee. And the price drops to $1.54 if you buy in bulk. No more wasting money or throwing away single-use plastics. Blueland is serious about saving you money. They also have a four-bottle cleaning pack with a 20% savings. 
It contains hand soap and three cleaners, one for the bathroom, one multi-surface, and one glass and mirror. Plus, I have a code that will save you an extra 15% off. All you have to do is click the link below. And you don't want to miss this because it doesn't happen often. And they ship to the US, Canada, the UK, New Zealand, and Australia. But most importantly for me, the soap is easy on my hands. My hands feel clean, not dry, and with no residue. If any of the following stretches or exercises give you any pain, stop and consult your doctor. Before you sew, it's important to stretch. It doesn't need to take a lot of time. If you watch my interview with Rose Parr this week, she talked about spontaneous stretching. While you're waiting for your bobbin to wind or the computer to boot, do a couple of these. First, give your hands a shake. Then put your arms out in front of you like they're on a table and then splay your fingers as wide as they can go for the count of five and then repeat. Give your hands another shake. Then stretch your arm out in front of you, locking your elbow and let your hand drop. With the opposite hand, pull towards you. You're going to feel a stretch in the upper arm. Hold for five seconds and then repeat with the other arm. Give your hands another shake. With your hands out in front of you, take your pinky finger with your other hand and pull it back gently until you feel a tug. Hold the count of five and just wiggle the other fingers while you do it. Then repeat with your ring finger, then repeat with your middle finger, then repeat with your forefinger, and of course, don't forget the thumb. Then repeat with the other hand. I try to do these stretches before I start sewing, but if it's been a long sewing day, I'll also do it at the end. I tend to do these exercises when I'm on a Zoom call, but you can do them whenever. Use a foam ball, a tension ball, or some putty. This first exercise is about doing a full range of motion curl with your fingertips ending up in the palm of your hand. And don't forget about curling in that thumb. Then hold it all tight for a couple of seconds, then release and roll the mass and then repeat again. You want to have something soft in your hand here. A tennis ball is just not going to give you the range of motion. For our second exercise, we're going to make a pinch. Our putty is already a little bit elongated, so take your fourth finger and thumb and pinch your putty along the length. Be sure to be making a C between your thumb and forefinger and not flatten your joints. And just continue along the top and then rotate it and go back. And repeat with your other hand. For the third exercise, I have this special elastic that I purchased from Amazon. I'll put a link down in the notes below. But if you don't have one, just regular elastics will do. Just be sure to make a C with your hand. Again, don't flatten your joints. Now expand your fingers and then relax. Remember, it's important to use your thumb here. Just expand, hold for three, and then contract and then repeat on the other side. You might be like me and find it much more challenging on one side of your body than the other. And then I try to repeat the whole thing in five sets. You can see this silicone ball here I've had for over two years. I keep it by my computer and now every time when I'm a Zoom call, these exercises have just become second nature. For more tips on sewing pain-free, check out my interview with Rose Parr, the author of So Healthy and Happy. There's also a playlist here on my top tips for getting the best results. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Take care and I'll see you next time.